Okay, so boom. So you want to bring me a condom in the penitentiary. You want me to go upstairs there huh, so you can take it home and try to have my... So all of this came about one day when I'm taking out the trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm busting my move. It's Burger Day. Everybody go to child on Burger Day except me. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to go down here and see what's up. She's trying to see what's up with me. We're trying to see what's up with each other. You know what I'm saying? And it's a short window of opportunity. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to get my little freak on where I can get my freak on before everybody come back trying to be nosy. So soon as she have child time, I'm looking at the back window. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. Because I'm waiting to see everybody go. Soon as I see the door close, and I hear lock, both of the doors, they let me know every inmate is gone. And guess what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm just gonna come on up out of the cell, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna chill on the rock a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Act like ain't nothing going on. I ain't the rock man, so I really ain't got no business taking the trash out, but it's really at the officer's discretion. If 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 the correctional officer see that the trash cans are full, you know what I'm saying, she don't really have to wait on her rock man. You know what I'm saying? As long as it get done, she can check it off and say he done. He's still gonna get his little 17 cent an hour. You know what I'm saying? He's still gonna get his little 17 cent. Ain't nobody trying to intrude on your little 17 cent, bro. I'm just trying to go back here so I can take care of my business and do what I need to do before y'all get back on them little burgers. You know what I'm saying? So so when I come out on the rock chiller, you know what I'm saying? She already know the signal as soon as I... <clears throat> She gonna holler, hey, Baker. And she always, Baker, 41, 41, 46. I don't know what it was with the officers that I always like to say my number. You know what I'm saying? But when they say when they say your number like that, that that's equivalent to calling me crazy. When you say when you say my number like that, that's really say that's that, that's that's really cold for you a little snack. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's just really cold for hey, 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 41, 41, 46. What's up? What we doing? You know what I'm saying? What we doing? Thick, long, wide, strong. Still commercial break me, please. Hey, look, check this out. If you ain't want to get the book, I need you I need you to go get the book. I got the book on sale right now. I got a two for one going on for 25. You can get the ebook right now for 1250. For everybody who been asking me about the audio version of the book, and I'm pretty sure there's still gonna be some people that's gonna jump in the comment section and ask the same question. I'm finna answer it. I have an audio book. I'm narrating it. It's on my website. Go to jtb3.org. If you don't want to punch that in Google, go to the description on this video. Go to shop, then store. Stroll down. You're going to see the audio version of me. I'm narrating. It. It's four parts. One through three. Four through six, seven, and eight. I couldn't make it one big five because it's eight hours long. And that's on sale right now, too. You can go get the audio version. But look, check this out. For the people who've been asking about the, the merch, I got the merch back on the website. JTB3.org. Okay, so boom. Look, check this out. So so when she have a baker. He come, can you take this trash out for me? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got you. You know what I'm saying? I turned a bow legging from a 7 to a 10. You know what I'm saying? I'm Jordan in game five. I'm, oh, I got you. But I'm smooth with it, though. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking my time. And at the same time, you know what I'm saying? Every time I take one of the trash bags, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a trash can almost on every corner. So I got to walk around the top and I got to walk around the bottom. You know what I'm saying? So I take all the trash bags out. You know what I'm saying? Walk with my little bow legged tail around. And I got my fresh penitentiary clothes. I got the fresh whites on. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody around. I got the fresh whites on. Then I got the grays on. You know what I'm saying? I got the grays on because I got to make sure she can see. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got to make sure pig is in, is, is in sight. You know what I'm saying? That, that's just a part of the game right there. Independent you can say what you want to say, but that's just what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I gotta make it's some kind of seduction going on. So when I walk, I walk the trash cans and I walk the trash bag, sit them back by the door. But see, I'm strategic and I'm calculated. So I'm 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 listen, I'm glad she answered me to take the trash out. Why is every trash bag is full? Because that's gonna allow me more time in this blind spot. It's it's cameras in the penitentiary at this point. When I first came in, wasn't no cameras. So now they got cameras. But it's certain blind spots, so you know inmates are gonna find the blind spot where they can, you know, even swap no swindle, do their little trades, do whatever they wanna do, get in their little fights, you know, John Claw Van Damme, somebody where they can't see it. And one of them, one of them blind spots is back here where you take the trash out. See, they got a little, they got a little dip out where, where the police can come in through the back door. 
Let's say a search finna happen, right? A search finna happen, and they don't want to come through the front entrance where all the inmates can see that they that the tech team is coming in to do a search. They also have a back door. See, if they come through the back door, you we can't see it because they come from behind the building. So when you come through that back door, the same door you go out to take trash in, they got they got a stairway up there. You, they, the officer can come through the bottom, and they can go up through the top. And see, it ain't no camera in that area. So, of course, when it's time to take their trash out, right there in that little area, I need as much time as I can get. Because if the police watching the eye, in the, watching from the eye in the sky, I know I got a good, I got a good 15 to 20 second window before they say, what's taking them so long to take their trash out? You know what I'm saying? And then this is the little Indian jump. This is the little Indian jump. She ain't been on the compound probably four or five months at the time. You know, it's already rumors going around that little Joe T got them. You know what I'm saying? But I can't confirm nor deny. You know what I'm saying? She bringing me food. She bringing, you know what I'm saying? She bringing me candy. You know what I'm saying? And she bringing the bomb in at the time. And I done toned her down a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? She kind of intrigued with the kid. And it, 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 it had a lot to do with me being in the cell with my dad. But then not only did it have a lot to me, me doing it and being in the cell with my dad, and my daddy, see, not only therapists go through this or what I'm about to explain to you. Counselors, they're not the only ones who go through this. Female officers, women officers, they go through this. It's a thing called transference. If you ain't never heard of transference, I need you to get on Google and see and see what the dra definition of transfer trans transference is. See, see what ha what doesn't happen is, you know what I'm saying? I done kicked, you know what I'm saying? We done kicked it. I done told her things about my personal life. I done told her why I'm in prison. I done told her about my daughter. I done told her I ain't had no visits. I done told her things that I done been through in the penitentiary. I done told her what I what I while I got out of affiliation. And then on top of that, she's so intrigued and, and curious and interested in me and my pops relationship. Cause me and my pops is in the cell together. I done told her my pops got two life sentences. He ain't never been in my life and this, this, and that. And she, she's so intrigued. So but, but guess what she do? She take everything that I'm telling her home. You know what I'm saying? She taking what's going on in the job home. It become personal. So now even when we talking on the phone, she, she thinking about me. See, now I done got all in the system. You know what I'm saying? What the, what my guys in Memphis say? I don't put, I don't paint it. I don't put a stain on her brain. So now, now not only is she, she because because it's a couple of officers in there who try to make sure they ain't looking at you as if you not a human. They try to make sure they don't put you in the category of an inmate, somebody who's incarcerated, somebody who broke the law, and somebody who need to be treated like an animal. See, she was one of them type. She didn't want to be. She didn't want to treat me like an animal. But see, me and her had gained a personal relationship, which created what they call transference. So at this, so at this point, look, 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 look. So I got like eight, about eight trash bags back up. I'm knowing I got a short window of opportunity. So as soon as she put the key in the door, you know what I'm saying? I'm knowing I need to be speed walking. I'm telling her, as soon as this one door open, you need to make sure you go through that other door and unlock it as quick as, as, quick as possible. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, just do what I'm telling you to do. Because she don't know, you know what I'm saying? I, listen, listen, listen. Penitentiary rules is in effect right now. Penitentiary rules is in effect. I need you to unlock this door and soon as we go through, don't take your time. I need you to run to that other door and unlock that door. You know what I'm saying? And open it fast. I don't need you to be taking your time trying to talk none of that. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as she popped the door, pow, she speed walk. I said, I said, I'm saying, not only is you hairy enough to unlock the door, but you, you know, you got a little twerk walk on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Very enticing. Do it again for me. So she hit the door, pow, pow, pow. I grab the first few trash bags. Look, when I go out, the, the dumpster is kind of far. <laughs> Look, I pull a project move. I pull a project move. I step right out the door and slang them. Hoo! Go back in, grab them. So, <laughs> see, look, when I go back in, I got enough time to freak on them real quick. Because the camera, if I'm thinking right, the camera, they have to try to calculate how much time it'll take for me to get to the trash can. So when I step out knowing there ain't no cameras and I done huh, through the trash bags, I got enough time to freak before I go get the other ones. You know what I'm saying? So I, what's up, what's up? She, what are you doing? Quit, why you always say the same thing? Like you don't know I'm finna, I'm finna, I'm finna caress you back here. She, what are you, yeah. All that. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me get these other real quick. Hurry up, hurry up. I know we, you don't want me to hurry up because you're trying to get back in here and do your job and get on the law book. You're trying to get back in here and get me to hurry up because you know what's going to happen when I close the door. So I step back out and grab the other bags. I step out the door. <laughs> step back in. Lock the door real quick. Lock the door. She, pow, 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 pow. 
she turn around. She go to unlock. She she she, she act like she finna get ready to walk out the door. Right. I always hit her with this with the same move. You know what I'm saying? Stiff on her. You know what I'm saying? I gently grab her right here. You know what I'm saying? From the back. Come here. Hug. You know what I'm saying? This, and I'm a little aggressive with it. I got a little feel that, that, that penitentiary workout on. You know what I'm saying? That penitentiary workout on. And it's the right arm. It's the, it's the, it's the same one I take care of the business with. So it's a little stronger than the left. You know what I'm saying? So when I grab her, hug. She, you know what I'm saying? There's something about a woman, I think, when she when they feel a man's hand, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's gentle aggression. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, it ain't aggression like I'm finna take something. It's I'm into you aggression. She turn around. She, what is this? She say the same thing. I said, man, what's up? She like, what are you talking about? But at the same time, she walking towards me. I heard the keys jingle a little bit. The key, the, the radio. I heard people talking, you know what I'm saying? But that, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm looking at her, she looking at me, we looking at each other, right? I come here. Pick her up a little bit. She like to, she, she, she like to feel that, you know what I'm saying? She like to feel that penitentiary.